Welcome to video number 22 in the Using iTrain tutorial series. This is part two of the Train Route Basics Using Blocks. Welcome back. So in part one we completed two loops of the oval here. Now let's add a stop at the north platform with the option for the train to randomly stop at either Platform 1 or Platform 2. So we'll open the train route editor again. I will use the shortcut Control plus Shift plus F4 and we'll go to the Items tab. In the upper window here we'll click on the second step N1 to select it. Then in the lower window, this time we will select the blocks choice. And you'll see that we're presented with a new window where we can add more blocks. We can see that North Station Platform 1 is already listed here. And we can add additional blocks by either pressing the insert button which will insert it above this one, or we can click the append button, which will insert below the current block. We'll use the append button, and then from this drop down menu here, we can select the other North Station 2 platform. So now we have two blocks which iTrain could choose to use in this particular step. How iTrain chooses which block that it will use is determined by the selection field. You can see that there are a number of different choices here which we will go through in future tutorials. For this tutorial we'll just talk about the first two which is in order or at random. The in order option here does not mean that iTrain will select platform 1 on the first loop and platform 2 on the second loop. In order means that iTrain will select the block in the order shown in this list. That means it will first look at North Platform 1. If it is free and available, it will select it to use. If not, it will select North Platform 2. If neither block is available, the route will stop until one is available. So if Platform 1 is always available, iTrain will keep using Platform 1 and Platform 2 will never be selected. So the in order option is not a good choice for our particular example here. Instead we will use the at random selection. So iTrain will now randomly select either Platform 1 or Platform 2 each time it goes round the loop. And we can add some further variation by setting the percentage chance of waiting to something less than 100%. Let's make it 50%. So we'll type in 50 return. So now sometimes iTrain will choose to stop at either platform 1 or 2 or it may decide to go straight through without stopping. And just like part 1 in the tutorial we can set the length of the stop or the wait. And just so that we're not waiting around too long we'll set these both to 1 second. OK, so that's it for this step, but before we apply the changes down here, let's go to the Options tab 
and make the number of loops infinite by setting it to zero. So now iTrain will continually go through the loop until we manually stop the train route. And then we can press apply and close down the train route editor. Now the observant of you may have noticed a deliberate problem with the train route that we've just created there. But let's start the route and see what happens. What is supposed to happen is that when we press the start button, the route will be selected and reserved and we should see it going around in an anti-clockwise direction, sometimes choosing to stop at either platform one or platform two randomly, or sometimes it will pass straight through and come round and complete the loop again. So let's start the route and see what happens. We'll click on the route icon and, oh, right, so iTrain has chosen to reserve a route which is going in the clockwise direction and not the anti-clockwise direction which we wanted. So why is that? And it's chosen to go to platform two, okay. Well, let's progress the route around and see what else happens. So we've got speed, so we're safe to double click on the feedback elements. We'll progress it round. It's going into platform two and it is going to stop and wait for one second. And then it is reserved the track round in a clockwise direction again, which is not what we want. And interestingly, if you look here at platform one, there is no orange bar showing in the block symbol here. So it is not intending to wait here, which is odd as well, because if you remember, we told iTrain to always stop in platform one. We made the wait a 100% chance of occurring, but it's not stopping. So why is that? Let's progress it round. So we'll double click here. We'll double click here. And we can see iTrain has decided to go down into the south siding now, which is really odd because the south siding wasn't part of the route that we created in any way, was it? Right, interesting. So let's progress it on. We'll double click here and see what else it's going to do. So it's going through its weight and now it's decided to go back to South Platform 1 and this time it is going to wait and it is going in the anti-clockwise direction which we wanted it to. So let's progress it. We progress on. It's going into platform one. It is going to perform its weight. And ah, so this time it has chosen to go in the right direction, the anti-clockwise direction. And it is chosen to go to platform one. Great, well, at least something is working. So let's progress this on. We'll go into platform one. It's going to perform its weight. The weight is completed and it is correctly gone round to platform one and is going to wait. We can see by the orange bar, so that is good. Let's progress round. Let the train enter into the block it's in it performs its weight and oh so it is chosen platform two again but has chosen to go round in an and in a in a clockwise direction which is not correct so let's stop the route and think about 
what is happening here. We'll open up the train route and see if we can find the problem. So I'll press Control plus Shift plus F4. And the problem that we saw occurred when it was routing to North Platform 2. So let's look at that step first. And that was in step 2. So we'll click on step 2 to select it. And then down here we can see the North Platform 2. The only thing we really set for this step was the direction which we have set to next just like all the other steps. So that should be okay but let's check it on the switchboard. So we wanted it to start at South Platform 1 and travel in an anti-clockwise direction which we know is in direction next because our arrow is indicating that here. Then we go through east, which is still traveling in direction next. Then we come into here, through the turnout and into North Platform 2, and aha! For this block, direction next is pointing in the clockwise direction. We want the train to enter in the block when it's travelling in an anti-clockwise direction, which would mean we need to set the direction to previous and not next. Direction both for this block would not be any good either, because that would also give iTrain the option to choose the clockwise route into this block if it so wished to do but we want to restrict it to the anti-clockwise direction, so we need to make sure it is only set to previous. So, down to the step here, we've selected it, then from the direction box we will select previous. Okay, good. But how do we explain why iTrain also chose to continue from North Platform 2 in a clockwise direction to get to South Platform 1. Let's have a look at that. If you remember, the train was in North Platform 2 after entering from the clockwise direction. And it stopped and waited, and then it chose to use this clockwise route. So why clockwise? It could just as easily have taken the anti-clockwise route like the rest of the route. But if we look closer at the block itself, we can see that the track direction arrow here is a single arrow pointing clockwise and not a double arrow like we have in these other blocks, which indicate a bi-directional block. The single arrow here indicates a unidirectional block, or preferred direction block. If iTrain has a choice, it will choose to go in the preferred direction, which is why it routed itself clockwise. ITrain knew that its next destination was South Platform 1 and that it needed to stop and wait when it got there, but we have previously told it that it can only stop at this block if it enters it from the direction next. So it passed through South Platform 1 in the clockwise direction without stopping and drove into the south siding, then changed direction so that it could enter South Platform 1 in the direction next, and then was able to stop. Phew, that was convoluted, wasn't it? But iTrain did manage to figure out a route, even if it wasn't the way we were intending it to. 
But now that we have changed North Platform 1 to Direction Previous, all of that stuff that happened here should now not occur. So let's see. We'll apply the changes that we've made. Click the Apply button. Close down the editor. And then we can have a go at starting the route again. Press the Start, and OK, that's good. It's going round to the North Platform in the anti-clockwise direction. It's chosen to go straight through, which is good. That's what we want it to do some of the time. And we're going through to South Platform 1, and it must stop here. We've asked it to. So it stops, goes through the weight. It's good. We're going up to North Platform 1 again, which is OK. And it's chosen to go straight through again. OK, we'll come round into South Platform 1. Let it do the one second wait. And now it's chosen to go through North Platform 2 in the anti-clockwise direction, which is great. That's what we want. And it is chosen to wait. So it is also waiting as well. That's great. And so it seems as though things are now working just as we wanted it to. So we'll let it come into South Platform 1. Actually, we'll click on the finish so that when it comes into here the route will actually stop this time. And there we go. So that now seems to be working correctly. I hope that gave you an insight into how iTrain makes some of its routing decisions and the importance of us selecting the correct directions to help iTrain to make the choices that we want it to. Time for a tea break, I think. So I'll see you in part three, where we'll continue building this train route. Take care.